ficarem. So today lab title write the title of today lab that to study the function of function of DHCP server. To study the function of DHCP server. This is the title of today lab. So let's study that what is mean by DHCP. So DHCP means that domain host configuration protocol. What is the function of a DHCP server? So, first of all, DHCP mean that domain host configuration configuration protocol so in previous labs you study that when you were configure your laptops either servers so you will write manually the address in their uh, address portion so what is the function of bcp so when any computer enter to the computer internet so there is a server whose name is domain host configuration protocol server give you an IP address for example there is existence there is a network a PC should this is PC this is PC this is PC and they are connected to other internet So, when someone connect to this network, this PC3, so we require that to enter to give uh, to this PC an IP address. So, for which, for which there will be a server, it will request to their server and this server will give uh, him an IP address. So the main function of domain host configuration protocol is that when anyone enter to computer network when anyone enter to computer network the IP address for this computer must be needed so who will give IP address so a DHCP server will give him a IP address and you, uh, you will study that 
there are two type of addressing one is called ipv4 and one is called ipv6 so in the case of IBP, IB, ipv4 some organization takes lack of addresses so there are classes this is called class full addresses there are classes a b class c class so when someone take a block of uh, address this block of address so this block will be start from starting initial address and this block will be finish on uh, some address so this means that you can connect how much devices to the network if you buy this block so when we buy this block of ip addresses and we connect some uh, pcs or some uh, laptops here so when we add another pc so it will take an address from this block so you can add it manually either you can give through a server dhcp server so in previous lab it was difficult for us that we can figure every laptop is in a lab point of view we were designed very small network but in small network it is also difficult for us that configure every laptop so in the case of internet it is very difficult to configure every laptop and provide him uh, a specific ip address so for this case there will be an ip uh, in a uh, pro and server whose name is dhcp server and this server will give us uh, what this server will give us the uh, ip address for example we we will design there this is the server dhcp and we will insert the another server whose name is dns is without dns this is impossible to connect the system uh, either approach to a specific website and suppose there is another server whose name is gmail in this lab we will study the function of uh, uh, dhcp and we will study that how the gmail server work so and they will be connected to a switch either router and here there will be two pcs one pc consider this is the pc of ismail and this is the pc of abdar so when we install the dhcp server so the configuration of this server will be easy we will just on the cp server and it will automatically gives him an ip addresses give him ip address and then we will activate this gmail servers server and uh, then uh, then abdar and ismail can make his gmail address in this server and they can send email to each other so this is the short theory behind the lab which we are perform here so consider consider
we want to design our lab so for the lab we will take a switch and we will use three servers server one server two server three laptop one and laptop 2 and then connect so for connection we use this wire copper straight through if you are unable to remember so use this wire automatically choose it will take it will uh, choose automatically wire it means that what is the useful wire for these two so it will take automatically so in previous uh, version this option was uh, not include you must remember that uh, you will connect the laptop to a switch by copper straight through and direct laptop with mm, copper this and this router to router with this so if you are <laughs> not remember so use this wire this wire is used to connect this pc to this and this to this it means that you can use this wire also so this is the correct wire but if you are unable to know that which wire is use to connect server to switch so in this case use the automatically choose wire but when you use this wire so it so you so this is the it means that you can use this and you can use uh, this wire so if you use this wire it will choose automatically this wire become automatically a copper straight through wire so consider this laptop is the laptop of abdar and this is the laptop of ismail and this is the uh, dhcp server this is the dhcp server and this is the dns server and this is your gmail server this is the gmail server So first of all you will give the address to DHCP server. So in the case of DHCP server who's here suppose this is 192. 168.1.1 and suppose the dns is the dot two this is your dns goes to services and on the dhcp so he said that give the dns only dot two and on the dhcp so it means that you have on the dhcp uh, services here so go to services and click on DHCP and under DHCP server and also give the DNS server here. It also show that this is the starting address and this is the subnet mask. You know that what is mean by subnet mask. So consider now you go to DNS server. 
So in previous case, you will insert here the addresses manually. But when you on the DHCP servers here, it will it will give automatically address 192.168.1.2 and this is the DNS server. This means that you can configure your PCs, your server automatically. So click here, desktop and on the DCP server it will provide 162.168.1.3 is the address this is the why they give the automatically uh, IP address to this server due to the use of DHCP server so when we when we use the DHCP server it is easy for us to insert to assign the specific IP address to our systems so this is the main advantage of DHCP server that due to DHCP server we can assign the IP addresses so this is the function of DHCP server now let's suppose that in DNS server we provide the DNS portion so on the DNS and suppose this is the gmail.com gmail.com is the address and its address is that 3 is the address of uh, gmail go to gmail server go to services go to email and write the name gmail.com and set it now take the user names so abdar and what is its password eight do thing and add it second one is i s m a i l and its password is eight do thing or three two one any password so this is the uh dear so we have added uh, the two users here now you go to the PC of Abdar and open the email portion here this is your email so username is is this is capital R small we want to check it Smart. So you go to here and write the you write your name. So Abdar. This is and what is your email address? Abdar at the rate of gmail dot com. And what is the uh, an incoming mail service? So the email the email will become to this server gmail.com and outgoing will be used this. What is its username? Abda. And what is its uh, password? One two three. And save it. Now. Go to the PC of Ismail and what is its name? Ismail. Ismail. At the rate of gmail dot com. 
and what is the going what is the outgoing what is its name is my l and password is 321 and save it so the they have generated their email addresses here So let's suppose he want to compose email to Ismail Ismail at the rate of gmail.com subject data for communication class he says that dear Then please send me today lab task and he send it. So uh, now let's suppose we want to check here. That is, he received an email. Yes, he received the email of Abdar. And when you click here, he said, that, Dear friend, please send me today lab task. If he composed email to Abdar, so Abdar at the rate of gmail.com. And he type the title data communication lab task. He write dear Abdar, hope you will be fine. Hope you will be fine. The attach file you can't attach here any uh, documents is its simulation base. So let's suppose that uh, uh, hope you will be fine. The attached file is lab task and send it. If he check it, received email. So he received email. Hope you will be fine. And the attach file is the lab task. So it means you can reply from here and compose. Okay, and receive delete. So this the task of this lab is that what is the function of the CP server and how you can use the DNS and other in other other uh, server with the DHCP servers how you can use DNS server and other server with DHCP server so what is your task task is that So let write your task here. Connect Gmail server and UOT server. Connect the HCP, comma Gmail server and UT server and Cisco packet tracer. Cisco packet tracer. So this is the lab task of 
tudele.